Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about an important structure of the elementary canal which is called the intestine. Let us see what is the intestine. Intestine, it can be of two important types, the small intestine and followed by the large intestine. First, let us start a discussion with the small intestine. Small intestine, this is the longest part of the elementary canal and it is the most highly coiled structure of the elementary canal. It is basically narrow, tubular and it occupies the central position of the abdominal cavity. So it occupies the central portion. As you can see over here, so this is a typical structure of the intestine. This is the small intestine and followed by the large intestine. The red tubular structure which we are seeing over here is the small intestine. The small intestine, it is mostly divided into three important parts. What are those? The first part is known as the duodenum. Duodenum is the C-shaped structure which is followed just after the stomach. The contents of the stomach is emptied into the duodenum. This is the C-shaped structure and here this is actually the duodenum. After duodenum, it is followed by the middlemost portion of the small intestine which is known as the jejunum. After jejunum, the longest and the most highly coiled part of the small intestine is called the ileum. This ileum, it leads to the large intestine at a point which is known as the cecum. So these are the three important parts of small intestine, duodenum followed by jejunum which is the middle portion and lastly the ileum. Now let us talk about the large intestine. Large intestine, it is shorter than the small intestine but they are wider. Because small intestine, we know they are narrow, tubular, highly coiled structure, whereas the large intestine, they are wider structures. They mostly arc around the smaller intestine as you can see over here. The large intestine, it has got three important parts, the cecum, colon and the rectum. Now let us talk about all these parts. First let us start our discussion with the cecum. Cecum, this is the starting portion of the large intestine as you can see over here. This cecum ends with the vermiform appendix. Now this vermiform appendix and the cecum, these are known as the vestigial organs of our body. Why? Because they are vestigial in function as they are not involved in the cellulose digestion. It is believed that these are the areas like cecum and the vermiform appendix, they are the host or they actually give area or space for some of the symbiotic microorganisms to stay. Followed by the cecum is the colon. Now the colon portion is divided into three important parts. These are the ascending colon, this portion followed by the transverse colon, this area and then comes the descending colon. After the colon, the colon leads to the next portion or the last portion of the large intestine. This is known as the rectum. Rectum, it, this is the area where the feces are temporarily stored. This rectum leads to the anus which is controlled by the anal sphincter and after the anus, the undigested products are thrown out of the body through the anus. So these are the three important parts of large intestine, the cecum, colon and the rectum. In this video, we have discussed about the intestine. We have discussed about two important intestines, the small intestine and the large intestine. We also have discussed about the structure of the small intestine and the different parts of the small intestine. We have also discussed about the important parts of the large intestine, which are the cecum, colon and the rectum. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.